The year is 2008. Gamers have spent half the year waiting for the opening cutscene of Metal Gear Solid 4 to end. Eminem looks like this, and we still haven't found a way to start a story without saying the year is. However, young me has found the magical realm of online gaming. I'm not talking Halo or iToy Chat, I'm talking the internet variety. World of Warcraft, RuneScape, Wizard 101, I was on a mission to repel all women. Although I enjoyed these, while well, I actually couldn't find RuneScape because I thought it was called RuneScape, great job Joshi. There was one online experience that captured my interest more than the others. That game was Raid Shadow Legends. Use code go fuck yourself to get one cent off your next that game was Habbo Hotel. This is right there in the title, this was really obvious. Habbo Hotel captured my interest due to its amazing feeling of exploration and discovery. In Habbo, you make your own rooms. Then, you can either invite people to the rooms or journey to someone else's. This leads to an exciting dynamic where, at the click of a button, you're constantly adventuring into other people's minds. Like Psychonauts, but if the world were designed by racist ten-year-olds. One minute you're on an odyssey to a jungle and the next you're in a strip club. One minute you're in a football stadium and the next you're in a public bathroom with erotica scribbled on the walls. One minute a daycare and the next walking in on someone lying on a bed typing has sex in asterisks. Why the fuck did people do this? Why the fuck did I do this? Oh god. This is why I liked Havo more than the likes of World of Warcraft and Wizard 101 because because of the community element, it's an unlimited adventure and completely unpredictable. Habbo combines games, chat rooms, and that magic of stumbling on a great subreddit you've never seen before, and it's an experience that I've never quite seen recaptured since. The closest thing is Minecraft, because Minecraft is also a game with areas mostly designed by other players, which you discover through adventure. Modding has also captured a similar dynamic, what with the addition of player created levels, stories and assets, although 90% of mods are turning character models into Thomas the Tank Engine and Shrek, so, so much for that. Habbo was one of the earliest games to utilise this dynamic in a riveting way. You may have noticed the common theme in all of this is that social aspect. I saw another YouTuber describe Habbo as one of the best RPGs they've ever played and I have to agree. One of my fondest memories on Habbo was role playing wrestling. One at a time ladies, please. You'd make a wrestling ring out of doormats, dress up like a redneck and then type at the speed of light to describe your actions, in asterisks of course, before your opponent did. I credit Habbo as the reason why I can type fast. This shit was an extreme sport. I learned computer science at university, yet Habbo wrestling is undoubtedly the most brutal thing I've ever done. Because of all of this, I remember Habbo as a game that embodies player choice. The developers knew that kids love playing with their imagination and going on adventures, so Habbo plays up these aspects to create the perfect playground. Unfortunately, so much freedom led to a lack of regulation and with that, the floodgates opening for the darker side of the internet. Whenever Habbo is mentioned online, some people will gush about the positive memories they have with the game, but others will simply reply, the pool is closed. This is a reference to the public pool you can go to in Habbo. In 2006, this pool was raided by a group of interesting members of the messaging board 4chan. They dressed like this, stood in this formation best described as, well there goes my monetization, and told players that the pool was closed because it had AIDS in it. They conducted these raids on multiple occasions, which caused the movement to make a lot of noise. The pool is closed became a meme and one of the earliest ones to spread on such a viral scale. It even appeared on multiple news stations. The Fourth Reich was back in full force. Nine Kyle, motherfucker. These raids continued for years. In fact, they still happen, leading to the meme becoming synonymous with Habbo. When your public image is closely associated with 4chan and the AIDS virus, you are fucked. While this is the main dark legacy of Habbo, it's also remembered negatively because it was one of the earliest games to popularise microtransactions. The game's main currency is the creatively named Habbo credits, which you could only obtain with real world money. Without these credits, there was no way to get any items that weren't this dog shit. You could luck out and be given some nice fernie, win them in player hosted games or fuck your way to the top, but the system was very clearly a pay to win situation. When you note the fact that this is a game aimed towards kids, the shittiness of it becomes apparent very fast. This isn't the only money related issue the game is remembered for though. 
See, one of these player hosted games was rolling the dice. There'd be five dice and you'd hit them until you either got a specific number or went over it, hence losing. You would give Habo credits or Fernie to enter the game and you would only get them back with a prize if you won. This process is what the French call gambling. Remember, these coins and Fernie were obtained with real world money, so this was, by all definitions, real gambling, which in a kid's game is a minor problem. That, that was a pun. I've, I've been listening to Eminem's new album a lot, it's, it's pretty good. This led to an organisation that I'm too lazy to bing, warning Habbo that if they didn't do something about this, they'd give the website an adult classification or even straight up shut it down. Naturally, Habbo responded to this by removing the ability to have more than a few number of dice in a room, hence killing the ability to create a casino. This was problematic because casinos were really popular and a huge part of Habbo's culture, so by killing them they killed a portion of the user base. When you combine this with the fact that they were struggling to get new players because of their bad public image and the rise of more efficient communication websites like Facebook, it's unsurprising the site started to flounder. The real nail in the coffin though came from the glorious, depressing land of the UK. In 2012, the creatively named Channel 4 did a report on Habbo, panning it for being a paedophile haven. I always thought this was a really stupid report because the issue is an internet wide problem, so why they picked on Habbo specifically is something I'll never understand. Regardless, the coverage gave the fourth Reich of 4chan a new wind. The pool is closed due to AIDS became the pool is closed due to AIDS and pedos. Remember earlier how I explained that the social aspect of Habbo was what made the game so special? Well, in response to these widespread raids, the Habbo admins decided to remove the ability to talk for one week. This meant that Habbo lost what made it magical. You couldn't roleplay as a bold wrestler anymore. You couldn't develop friendships anymore. You couldn't fuck your girlfriend anymore. Please mum, I care about this woman. It lost the core of the experience and consequently, it lost the majority of its users. The other problem I want to talk about and actually is not a Habbo issue specifically, but it's, it's loosely related and this was rough for me, okay? During my time on Habbo, I befriended a girl. It, it's a girl story, of course it is. We became close to the point that we decided to talk via webcam and show our faces to each other for the first time. However, she was shy, so didn't want to show hers. So I, being the strong, tough Habbo wrestler that I was, opted to show my face first. So I did, and her reaction was... Oh. <laughs> and, and not just oh, but O colon L, which, for those of you who speak properly, means laughing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I look like a duck then, but Jesus, he may as well have just tracked me down and kicked me in the ballsack. That experience soured Hab over me a little bit, but despite the negativity surrounding the site both in general and personally, I still look back on Habbo nowadays with nothing but happiness and nostalgia. I'm always reluctant to tell this story because it sounds like bullshit, but I swear it's true and an experience that will forever be one of the most surreal moments of my life. During my time Habbo wrestling, and apparently still getting girlfriends despite that fact, I became close friends with a guy also part of the wrestling roleplay. We talked via webcam, this time laughing together instead of at my face, until we started discussing meeting up in person. Sure enough, that's what we did, and it was so surreal because I discovered that this guy, one, had the same name as me, two, had the exact same birthday as me, I'm talking day, month, year, everything, and three, lived two minutes away from my house. When you combine all of that with the fact that we had near identical hobbies like playing Habbo and watching wrestling, the fact that we happen to be in the same room at the same time, and all the other factors here, it's undoubtedly one of the most insane things I've ever experienced. He would go on to become one of my best friends. I mention this because this incredible experience wouldn't have happened if not for Habbo. We grew so close because we didn't just casually chat about wrestling on a forum, we played together as kids. We embarked on adventures, we played games, we built crappy rooms. 
Habba was a game that promotes the magic of creativity and encourages the call of wanderlust. It introduced me to the creative process that's now a huge part of my identity and brought me memories that will never be replicated. While many will remember Habbo for its aids and money crises, I will remember it as the catalyst of many friendships, the spark of my imagination, and the reason why I am who I am today. Also where I lost my virginity, ah oh, shit. <laughs> Dun 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 d